Hey everybody, this is Not A Spring Chick, and today, boy, we're learning all sorts of new things. One is it, oh wait, that dummy insurance you buy when you get electronics? Okay, yeah, that's what they're calling people that buy that insurance, just in case, well, I will tell you. Because he said, most people never use it, but I will tell you, I use it all the time. <laughs> it works quite well, which is why it continues again. But, you know, I guess you have to judge on how you use your electronics or how you would utilize insurance. And the other news also in California, well, I guess in this last election, we passed a business tax that they thought was going to happen next year. Well, guess what? It's retroactive to the beginning of the year, and it's taxing businesses that are in the state of California. Oh, wait a minute. If they're going to move out of the state, they're going to get taxed? If you're doing business at what was that again? All I heard was tax, 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 which is why there's companies that are starting to leave the state of California. Well, for now, we're going to bring all Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Monty waits. I know why. She waits to go on old Cam. I think she waits to get her back scratched. Yeah, once you get done, she'll get her, her penicillin for anything, won't she? And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, it actually is. The Republicans are going to cave completely to the president because... They're afraid that the, that the Democrats who didn't vote for them will be unhappy with them. I mean, that's the, uh, I, you know, okay, it, it's just like they did the thing, the Republicans are getting ready to cave on gay marriage because the people on the left won't vote for them in the next election. Mm -hmm. they, they, uh, okay, which means the people that did, remember why Mitt Romney didn't win is because the conservatives they thought had to come out and vote for him didn't come out and vote. And, the, and, the tea, and, a, and a few loonies on the right basically thought that they could win the election, you know, mm -hmm. because they'd have so many people on the right come out and vote for them. No, because the instant you swing left, they don't come back to you. Once you swing to the left, the Republican will not vote for you again. I mean, Monty, but she really likes being on camera, folks. I know. she. Did. Oh, I also noticed she likes pushing Bentley away. Yeah, push Bentley away. She puts her butt up against the fireplace. Unfortunately, it's not. It's not like Fireplace. This doesn't go to anything. There's no coal up there, folks. It's a decoration. It's a California fireplace. <laughs> an Intelligence Institute study shows Fox News viewers have an IQ that is 20 points lower than the U.S. national average. Yeah, and they pointed out that the general people that basically vote for Democrats have, a, have an IQ level that's slightly above that of Monty. Oh, Monty's a smart doggy, though. Yeah, but Monty only has the intellect of a seven-year-old. Oh, <laughs> Cal California business. I know she's like taking offense to that. She might. Would you? Well, yeah, but you're scratching her she butt. She may leave sooner than you think. Because <laughs> Bentley has basically been knocked over now. Of course. She did not like Bentley. Bentley is basically Bentley is leaving after this. He didn't get picked up for for Thanksgiving like he was supposed to. And new California taxes surprised businesses. Oh, yeah. Well, it also surprised the state. I mean, I'm old, and believe me, I would have never imagined that if you raise taxes on business for doing business in the state of California, then that, that would cause the businesses to leave the state of California. It came as a shock to the people that basically passed the tax initiative. Mm -hmm. It also came as a shock to the people that pushed the tax initiative when they found out that in one of those paragraphs we filled in later, made the tax retroactive. Oh, no, so, retroactive. And, yeah, which means, you you know, even if you leave the state of California to go to, like, say, Nevada, who they're you know, wanting to go to court against for raiding the state, you're going to have to pay extra taxes for the last year, which isn't going to work because you can't make a law retroactive. Uh -huh. Taxes cannot, you can cut taxes. They'll still try and collect the taxes, though. They won't. If they try to collect them, they'll lose it in court because it is a, you cannot make a law retroactive. Period. You can, you can say, well, we cut taxes back six months, and but that's a gift. That's not actually enforceable. And Egypt panel recommends referendum be held on time. Oh yeah, they're going. Even though the protests are continuing, because it basically puts strict Muslim law on the people of a modern, a modern country, that um, they actually think that they can force it through, on you know, by the military uh, making certain that mo that the it, and, uh, it, the Muslim Brotherhood controls the ballot boxes, you know, mm -hmm. and, and Obama's doing nothing. He said, well, we're looking at this. We have to give a strong message. Well, their strong message was is they're sending new equipment and money to the mil military and not to 
a new guy, but he's, he's replacing all the generals with his people. And police, a boy seven shot to death at Pennsylvania gun store. Oh yeah, basically what happened was his grandfather shot him by accident. There's a difference oh, between... Oh no! Okay, it's another one of those things that, well, you know, that uh, accidents happen. You know why they call an accident an accident? Because it was an accident? Because it was not, it, it was something that just happened. It was never intended. You know, okay, say you accidentally go off and leave your fake fireplace on and your house burns down because of the fake fire that was in the fake fireplace. Mm -hmm. That's not called intentional, that's called an accident, folks. So you mm -hmm. use every, like uh, the, the, the Democrats have said under Obama, never take advantage, never miss an opportunity to take advantage of any disaster. And taking advantage of a kid being in the wrong spot at the wrong time. I mean, I, I've seen kids, I mean, uh, my father said that when they were, when he was taking target practice with his cannon, he had his cannon doing target practice. Uh, one day before World War II, uh, picnickers decided to walk across the artillery range. They they, did, they ignored the signs, they ignored the fence, walked across the range, and by the time you spotted them, the cannon, they, you know, they'd already fired their cannons. That's, and uh, the day they would take advantage of that, saying, you know, the barbaric military at work. Oh. Yeah. Um, California man accused of stealing the same Bentley twice. I know. He's not very bright. <laughs> he, he stole the car he stole. <laughs> that, that's one of those, you know, uh, things that, what, that, that should win a Darwin Award. He stole the car from him. He, he stole what? the automobile, parked the automobile to be picked up by the people that pick it up, and then <laughs> didn't remember that, that that he parked it there and came back and stole it later. He, he stole the car from himself, folks. <laughs> <And so. laughs> Italian, <laughs> Italian prime minister says he intends to quit over prices. Yeah, and the, and the old prime minister is looking for is being ready to return to office now. Isn't that something? Well, because see, a guy that's a billionaire basically doesn't really have to worry about whether whether anybody likes him or not. So he just returned to office. And, yeah. and Bustani defeats Landry for Louisiana congressional seat. I know. They basically, two Republicans fought. Okay, they, re, they uh, because of the population shift, they lost six congressional seats and all of them were Republican seats. So what happened was the Republicans were competing against one another and naturally, the Bainyard spot, the Bainyard hardline Republican Party, uh, was re retained their seats, and the Conservatives all lost. They lost uh, six conservative Republican seats. Mm. Dallas Cowboys player charged with intoxication manslaughter. And they all were wondering last night. I was listening to the news this morning. They said they, they, we were waiting with anticipation for Bob Costas to come on and do an editorial during the middle of the Dallas Cowboys football game, which he was commenting on about the evils of drinking bowl but then let's see how was it when Bob Costas was an athlete you know he was a pitcher he used to get picked up for drunk driving uh -huh. a lot yeah it's different isn't it yep mm -hmm. and raid rescues a U.S. citizen kidnapped by Afghan Taliban yeah and they uh, basically a whole bunch of people got killed in that raid by you know, American so American SEAL team member and, uh, and some Afghan soldiers got killed so it was, a, it was a raid that did not go off as well. I'm also suspecting, since they're not showing the guy, that the guy is seriously wounded in the raid also. They're, they're hiding him from the public, saying that he was traumatized. And Chris considers run as a Democrat, and GOP says, bring it on. Okay, I mean, this is the most, they, they, he keeps doing this. He ran for governor of the state as a Democrat. He ran for a senator of the state as a Democrat, and it's coming to a great surprise that he's joining the Democratic Party. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Chris considers run as, oh, software guru McAfee wants to return to the United States. Well, yeah, it's not going to happen. I mean, it's obvious the guy probably did it because if he hadn't did it, he wouldn't be running. He would have simply been able to, uh, you know, okay, in those countries, you can buy your way out of anything unless you actually get caught doing it. And Romney campaign had $25.7 million left after the U.S. election. And Obama is busted. They owe money. Uh, they said because they donate, they said they, uh, the Democrats wasted $450 million on attack ads on Romney that weren't needed. 
because they said, um, some of the pollsters said the people on the right were never going to vote for Romney no matter what. Mm -hmm. They didn't care. Nobody cared about the attacks he did on Romney. The vote was set in stone. Well, I, I told people that the people, that were, uh, I predicted what was going to happen. He got X amount of minority vote and uh, almost and all of the left vote. <clears throat> and that was all that it took to win the election because the conservatives would not vote for Romney if hell froze over. And deportation looms for tech guru. Oh, we already talked about that. U.S. service member killed in raid that freed doctor from Taliban. I know. That's what they're making a big deal with that. It's all over the news. <clears throat> Anytime that um, it's just like <clears throat> my father also, uh, Patton sent um, a whole brigade of tanks in to save a person in World War II. And most of the brigade was wiped out, and the person that they were going to save had already been moved. Oh, no! <coughs> and Patton got all kind of static, because sometimes these raids do not go as they're planned. I would guess that many times they don't go as planned. Yeah. Anna Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, yeah, that's a good one. Often things do not go as they were planned. 